Okay, good morning class. So today we're looking at probability. Uh, I think we're on uh, exercise 4, is that correct? And exercise 4 is on page. No, we did exercise 3 yesterday. So now we're looking at exercise 4. Not so? Yes. So uh, this example 11 is on page uh, 317, correct? And uh, the exercise 4 is on page 318, 19. Okay, so today we're going to look at letter arrangements where the letters are repeated. Where the letters are repeated. Okay. So it is consider the letters of the word dad. Okay, so we have the D being repeated here, not so. Okay. So how many word arrangements can be made with a word if the repeated letters are treated as different letters? Okay? So if the repeated letters are treated as different letters. So if we look at this here, let's say it's now for A. You got D A. Oh, this board is not going to jump around all this. Isn't? So we're looking at that. Okay. So this the first D, let's call this D1, and let's call this D2. Okay. So how many word arrangements can be made with the word if the repeated letters are treated as different letters? So in other words, this is one way already. Not so. That's one way. Okay. Then it can be written as D2, A, and D1. It's another way. Not so. Then we can be written as A double D, not so, but D1, then D2. Okay? Can be written another way out as A D2 D1. See any other ways it can be written? Yes? DDA is so D1 D2A My apologies for the interruption we are looking for Crystal Myberg eh? if you can please report to the office immediately D2 Crystal Myberg D1 Is there any other ways that you guys can think of? Huh? Yeah. Any other way? No. So how many ways are there of writing this? Six ways. So the answer is... Oh my God. There are six ways. Okay. So we say, okay. How else should I get from three letters to six using factorial? Could have been three factorial, not so. I could have just simply have said that since there are six, it could have been written since it's three bits. If the repeated letters are treated as different letters, it could have been then three, two, one. Which is simply 3 factorial. And 3 factorial is 6. Okay. So this is the method we're going to adopt. Because we can't 
in an exam list all the outcomes there are. Okay, and then count it afterwards. But you guys understand? Let's look at B. Okay, I need the space here. Let's look at B. How many word arrangements can be made with the word if the repeated letters are treated as identical letters? What does that mean? If the repeated letters are treated as identical letters, that means to say that this D here is the same as that D. So how many word arrangements can be made? That is one. How else can be written as? A double D yes or A D D or D D A. So how many word arrangements are there now? Three. Can you see that people? So we say okay. If you got three, this can be of all. If I need to use three factorial, how do I get from three factorial to three? Sorry about this now. Ways, no? How can I get from 3 factorial to 3? What is 3 factorial equal to? 6. So if I divide this by 2 factorial, I actually will get an answer of 3. Not so. So you say, okay, how do I get from 3 and 2 factorial? What, what link can we link between 2 and the word? There's two repeated letters. Not so. So in other words, it's going to be, if there's three, um, three uh, letters, and there are two repeated letters, then we say it's going to be the number of letters divided by the number of repeated letters factorial. Okay? Or the repeated letters factorial. The number they wrote, okay? The board is jumping around, so I can't make that note thing. For some reason, when I'm writing at the bottom, he's doing that very bad. And the worst has it easy. Okay. You guys understand? Any confusion here? Okay. So let's go on to the next example. Um, okay, here's the rule. This is the rule four. I need you guys to write this down. I'm going to pause the video at this point. I'll try and sort out the board as well. The rule four says the number of different ways in, let in letters can be arranged where M1 of the letters are identical. M2 of the let uh, um, letters are identical, M3 of the letters are identical, and so on. And so on all the way to N to the N. All the letters are identical is given by N factorial over M1 factorial times M2 factorial times M3 factorial all the way to Mn where the repeated letters are treated as identical. So this in layman's terms, what is happening here is that the formula here, we apply that formula, okay, we, when we, when do we apply the formula? When we read that the repeated letters are treated as identical letters. That's how we identify which formula to use, or when to use this formula in particular, okay? If you see that the repeated letters are treated as a data letters, this formula must come to mind. Okay? So how do we use the formula? N is the number of letters there are. Can you see that people? N is a, the number of letters there are, whilst M, M denotes the repeated letters. So if A is repeated four times, then the first one is going to be four factorial. Like we said, and if E is, re is, is um, repeated three times, then I'll multiply that by three factorial in the denominator. And if I is re uh, represented five times, then, I'll, then the M3 will be five factorial, and so on and so on. You guys understand? So you write that um, rule down quickly. And this is the rule four.
Okay, it's a bit sorted now. You guys sorted? Right, so let's carry on. So let's look at example 12, and example 12 is on page 318. Example 12 is on page 318. Then we're doing the examples for exercise 4 on 319. The full lessons can be found also in the description box below. So consider the letters from the word needed. Okay, all of us feel like at that times, no? Mr. Pudding? Yes, miss? Erin Finch, is she with you? Yes, she is, miss. Um, if she can quickly go down to the music club, they need it quickly. Okay, miss. You see, Erin, you are also needed at times, okay? So consider the letters of the word needed. Alright. So how many word arrangements can be made if this word um, with this word, if the repeated letters are treated as different letters. So, are we going to use that formula that we spoke about here? No. <laughs> when do we use the formula? See, she gives one answer for the year. <laughs> Wait, when do we use that formula? If the repeated letters are treated as identical letters. That's the only time. Okay. So, so if you're looking at A, so how many bits will I draw here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 bits. Okay, so if the repeated letters are treated as different letters, then how many options do I have here? 6, then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So in other words, this is 6 factorial, which is? 720. Okay. Say so 6 factorial. Let's get it in a normal form. Shift. Okay, so it's going to be 6 factorial. A little bit slower. It's going to give you 720. Okay. That means to say the first D is different to the second D. The first E is different to the second E, which is different to the third. So if I had to write all these combinations as I did in the first sum, then how many, uh, how many ways would that have been written as? 720 ways. You guys understand? Alright. Let's look at B. The B part of the sum. Here we are told how many word arrangements can be made with this word if the repeated letters are treated as identical letters. So would that mean to say that that D is the same as that D, whilst those E's are all the same. So what is my formula? N factorial, which is the number of letters that we're talking about, which is N factorial over M1 factorial times M2 factorial times and so on till M N factorial. Whichever number of repeated letters there are. Okay. So what do I write here? It will simply be 6 factorial over 3 factorial. Why? Because there are 3 E's times 2 factorial because there are 2 D's. Okay. You all understand? Let me put that in the calculator. You'll have 6 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Which is an answer of 16. Okay. So yes? In the exam. In the exam, yes. Do you ask do you need to write the formula? The answer is no. You don't need the formula. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, because if you pick up a different textbook, they use different formulas, completely different. That is why I like using this textbook because it's simple. Not all sections, 
But this section is nice and simple. Okay. They did a very, very good job here with this. Okay. One day I will be just like them. <laughs> just not today. What's another question? <laughs> right, let's see what they got here in store for us. So yeah, we are told that. Okay, so I'll just take this off. I'll just move this up. Okay. So yeah, we are told in C. How many word arrangements can be made with the word uh, with this word if the word starts and ends with the same letter? Starts and ends with the same letter. Okay, so what scenario will um, be made here? Firstly, it's a six letter word. Okay, and it starts with it can start with E and end with E. Not so. Then what can we get to it if it starts and ends with an E? N D E D. Not so. So, how many options do I have for this is not C, eh? How many options do I have for the first bit? One. Not so. Okay, the board is jumping around. Okay, just try and work with it. Okay. So there's one option there. Okay. How many options do I have for this E? The last E? So looking at the letters that we have left, remember that the, at this point we are treating the repeated letters as identical letters. Okay. So in other words, this would be times. How many bits do we have here? Four. Not so. So this would simply be four factorial over over what? Two factorial. Why? Because they are two Ds. You guys understand? Okay. So let's look at the other side. We could start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We could start with the letter. Yes? So why do you say over 2 Because there's two D's. Sorry? We are treating it now as identical letters. Okay. It's coming from, from B, the previous one. Okay. It will be better if they had specified, yes, but they didn't. But um, according to what they have calculated, they have used the fact that repeated letters are identical letters. So, you'll see in this textbook, when it follows the repeated letters uh, as identical letters question, then they treat everything thereafter as identical. Okay. But in the exam, you'll probably specify. Okay. Let's look at the next one. You could start with a D. And end with a D. D. So what are we left with? E. e. Now N, sorry. Suppose so I started with N. Okay. So it's N. E. E. E, um, e again. Not so. So how many options do I have for bit one? One. But with the last bit, 1. So this is multiplied by. 
By what? How many repeated? How many letters are here? Four factorial. Over three factorial. Can you see that, people? If I add that together, just uh, replace that with that. Is this an answer of? You put that in a calculator. It's going to be four factorial. Four factorial. So I'm pressing the buttons and calculator and the, the other buttons is coming out. So it's four factorial over two factorial plus uh, four factorial. Um, over 3 factorial. Okay, now let's use the mouse like this. And I just give an answer of 16. Okay. 16 is the answer then. Okay. Any confusion then? Okay. The lessons shouldn't be taking this long, but because I'm struggling with the board. That's where we're at, okay. People, let's look at example 13. Example 13 is on page? 319. Okay. Consider the letters of the word night. Okay. We all want the night in shining armor, no? Not me, no? I'm not like that way in club. Okay. <laughs> Right, so we consider the word, the letters from the word night. People, is there any repeated letters there? No. No, okay. How many word arrangements can be made with the word if the letters are not repeated? The letters are not repeated. Six factorial. Okay. So how do we get to that? We're going to say... Um, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 6 letters. So it's going to be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Not so. So that's simply going to be 6 factorial. Okay. Let's go there. Okay. Okay. And 6 factorial, of course, is 720. Let's look at B. I'll try and align the board again. Okay, let's look at B. How many word arrangements can be made with the word if the word starts with K and ends with T? Starts with a K and ends with a T. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Okay, so, so it starts with a K and ends with a T. So what are we left with? Night. Night. Oh, sorry. No. N I G H. Okay. So if you look at this here, how many options do I have for the first bit? One times. The last one? So, the letters are not repeated. So, how many options do I have there? Four factorial. You guys understand? So, that would simply give us, I'm not going to put it on the calculator because the board is going to act again up. 24. 20? 24. It's 20. Okay. If the repeated letters were treated as identical letters, how many repeated letters are you? Zero. So remember the definition I told you uh, the other day? That zero factorial is also equal to? One. one. So it's going to be 24 over one, which is 24 in here. Okay. Since there's no repeated letters, 
the formula would be used as follows. Okay. Do you guys understand? Okay, so that basically brings us to the end of those examples for exercise four. So with that you should be able to do exercise four. Okay.